Hi, I'm Jeannie Kays, Library Director for the Palm Springs Public Library, here for another video for our summer reading program, Reading Colors Your World. Today's tutorial is tote bag dot painting. I can't wait to show you this fun and colorful tote bag. You'll see at the end. If you're signed up for our summer reading program, and I hope you are, be sure to listen for the secret code somewhere in this video. You'll enter the secret code in Beanstack and earn an activity badge and a grand prize entry ticket. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about supplies. If you're doing this with the library's craft kit, you'll have several of these items already included in the craft kit, so you don't have to worry about it. But if you're just doing this from home, get a canvas tote bag. You can use a t-shirt or whatever, but we're using a canvas tote bag. You will need a pencil to do your dots. Uh, you'll need some fabric paint. Now there are different kinds of paint out there. Um, this is a fabric paint that we got at Amazon. It has a screw top cap because there are fabric paints that come with a little squirt bottle and those make fine detailed writing. And this one we're do using to make dots. So we're gonna use one with a screw top cap and you'll see why in a minute. You'll need a stencil of some sort. Maybe you want to get you a paper plate, a drop cloth or a paper, um, some water, paper towels, um, and something to keep the layers from bleeding through. Now I'm using a little cardboard envelope, a couple of those, to put in the layer of the bag so that it doesn't bleed through. Now if you are participating in summer reading, the secret code is DOT, D-O-T, DOT. So be sure to enter the secret code in Beanstack on this activity to earn the badge and earn a grand prize entry ticket for our summer reading program, Reading Colors Your World. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we've got our tote bag. We've got the um, cardboard in between the layers. And right now what I'm doing is I'm taping down the letters on the bag. Okay, we're ready to start. And we got our letters taped down. We've got the cardboard. And I just used some masking tape behind the letters. I only really used one piece of tape per letter, so I decided to use two pencils to keep everything clean. Okay, so we've got our paint in the little cups. Um, what I used is I just used the cap to pour the paint in so I can easy clean up and not waste any paint. I'm going to use my pencil and just get some of the paint onto the end of your pencil. And then we're just going to dot around to make us use this as a stencil and I'm gonna overlap on the letters a little bit so that it uh, forms uh, when you remove those letters it's going to have a cute little stencil and we're just gonna dot like crazy and randomly all over the tote bag in our two colors so I'm just doing some dots. And then when we remove these letters, it's gonna look super cute. Let me show you what the purple's gonna look like. I got some purple paint Ooh, on our eraser. Here we go. Let's just overlap and mix it up and make it look like polka dots. I don't wanna get too much on the paper because it's just a waste. It's gonna be removed later. But then you can go out and do dots out here. Be sure to get paint every time, every dot. All right, let's speed this up and see how it goes.
Okay, how's it looking? It's looking pretty cute. I think it's supposed to look like confetti. Our dots are mingling together. So continue on until you're pretty sure you've covered the stencil so that it looks like the word read when you remove the paper stencil. So we wanna make sure we've got enough coverage for our word stencil. And if your pencil gets all gloppy, just use your paper towel and wipe it off. It comes off really easily and then keep going. Does it look done? I think it's done. Let's try to take these letters off. You should let this dry. Let's be clear. You should let this dry probably overnight, but I can't wait. So let's see what happens. Cute. Can you see it? I think so. I can tell it says read. It's kind of fun. Like I said, let that dry. Okay, we're all done with our craft. Did you have fun? I did. Let me show you what I got here. This is my read tote bag. Now be sure to enter the secret code that I said earlier in Beanstack for your summer reading grand prize entry ticket and your badge. Just remember that um, you can pick up craft kits Palm Springs Library while supplies last and have a wonderful summer. This is a fun activity. You can do this with different words. You could put Palm Springs and make a nice souvenir or gift for friends. Uh, just go go crazy. Have a, have a fun time. Have a fun summer. And uh, we hope to see you soon at the Palm Springs Library. Thanks.